you first get involved with the International Gay Sex Crime Syndicate? About six years ago is when I first became an associate with the Pinasini family. Uh, hey, I can see on the monitor there your camera's like veering off to the side and taking the face blur with it. Oh, sorry. We'll get that fixed up here. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Just cut this bit out. I couldn't see, I think it was doing it that whole time, so you might have to take that whole question out, I'm not sure. There, we've got that fixed. <laughs> yeah. Cut, that's alright, yeah. But yeah, it was about six years ago is when I first became an associate with the Pinasini family. And what is an associate in the gay sex criminal world? An associate is like the freshest of fresh meat in that life. You get invited by a current member of the family. For me, that was Don Scogenetti. And basically, you just you get brought around the family, you're meeting everybody. They might ask you to do a couple favors, a couple big sucks here, a couple blowjobs there, you know. They just, they're seeing if you have what it takes to be in there, you know. Explain the family dynamic of the gay sex. Hey, the camera's like veering off again. I can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, we'll just start that off at the top of the question. Okay, thank you. So, explain the family dynamic of the gay sex underworld. So there's five major families in San Francisco. There's the Pinasinis. There's the Paplanetis, the Conginos, the Simonini's, and the Testiglianos. And they run San Francisco, from the gay clubs to the gay labor unions, gay Chinatown. Everything is run by those five families. And what sorts of gay sex crimes did you commit personally? No, see, that's a popular misconception, actually. The gay sex had nothing to do with the crimes, and vice versa. It's like how all the Cosa Nostra guys are Italian. We've just got a different thing of ours. I mean, we like doing crimes, and we liked having gay sex, you know? If that was our clique back then, that's what set us apart. Did you just switch to a fucking side angle over here? We're gonna blur that in post, just don't worry about it for now. Hey, listen, I worked a long fucking time to get away from that life. I'm a father, I have a wife, I'm a pastor at the Westboro Baptist Church. And you promised me this would be anonymous. I can assure you it will be anonymous, sir. Just trust me. It's all right. I'm just, I'm a little worried about this whole thing. Okay, I'm just... Okay, are we good? Okay. I try to... We can go. We can go on. Okay, putting the crimes aside, let's talk a little bit about the gay sex. <sighs> the gay sex is just... I mean, every night taking on five, ten new dudes. But we weren't wearing condoms in those days. It was just, you know... Whoever wants it, come get it. I mean, it was incredible in those days. To this day, I don't think anybody has had more gay sex than me. <laughs> and on my heart, I mean, it was that gay. I would like to talk about the church a little bit if I could. I mean, they sh really showed me what I was doing was wrong. 